I'm Oliver Trevina here at the Young Hollywood Studio with the stars of Nightmare on Elm Street. How are you guys? Good, good. Don't look too scared. <laughs> do you? Um, any stories from set, like any scary moments that you know that you could tell us about? Me and Speedo. Yes, that Ooh. was, that you, was terrible. You in Speedos was that? That's pretty terrifying. Kyle was in a Speedo. He had to be, and it was freezing. I'm gonna. Yeah, I was in a speedo for. How cold? I mean, it was freezing. It was. It was like. Out. It was like 40 degrees, and there was no way to heat up the water, so they would just dump tanks of water. Did you vomit? I'm sorry, but. I did vomit from the shooting. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, no, because I had to pretend. I had to pretend to drown and come up, and Sam was like, "Take a deep breath." So I'd suck all this water, and I threw up half of a cheeseburger you know, into this. Okay, now <laughs> we crossed the line. I've got to be honest, when I asked that horror question, I was expecting more Freddy Krueger, not so much you and Speedo. I had a pretty scary day in the, in the hallway, in the bloody hallway, and you didn't know really when it started, and like it was really slippery, but I couldn't fall because then like I would ruin it because you know they'd have to like clean the hallway and like change me, and it, it would have been a disaster to fall, so I had to focus on not falling. Plus it's scary because Jackie's chasing me. Did you watch Nightmare on Elm Street as a kid? Yeah. yeah. And how did that? Was that scary? I loved it, but it didn't really scare it me. It scared me. Did I it? was way too young when I saw it, and I was at a sleepover or something, and the older girls were watching it, and I snuck in, and it just... I have to be honest, I'm not great with horror movies. Nightmare on Elm Street definitely kept me up a few nights. Now, obviously, Freddy's gloves. I heard that they were very real on set, massive. That's my that's my glove impression. <laughs> you like that? It used to be a professional minus or Yeah, <laughs> like that. Um, were there any near misses? Because I've noticed your My Little Pony Band-Aid. Oh yeah, yeah. Is that my, by Freddie? No, my friend had these Band-Aids last night. And, uh, no. Oh, so that's in fact a fashion just, statement. No, no, I don't know what it is, but I needed a Band-Aid because I cut my finger. But I never was hurt by the glove. But you guys were, weren't you? Didn't you have some close... Uh, Two little nicks. Two nicks, yeah. You I had got, the worst one, yes? No? Am I remembering I got correctly? Cut across us. Not like a so terrible... Scarf, love you just said. <laughs> no, like it's, <laughs> like it's, it's like nothing. this, I got cut this. Yeah, I got cut across the stuff. Well, no, it was, it was... There's a scene where he's supposed to kind of come at me and, and every once in a while the um, claws would slip off his fingers so they're just kind of on a hinge flying loose so when he goes to swipe he's supposed to pull his hand kind of out of the way but the claw was still extended out and just kind of caught me across. And they're metal, I mean they're sharp and um, they're steel claws. And your bath I've seen was quite uh, That sexy. was actually scary and there were some very <laughs> <laughs> they did the rig wrong. They made the the hole that the, the claw comes through too close to me. It wasn't far enough away. You know, <laughs> someone standing below with their hand coming through this hole that's coming out of the tub, and it was like way too close. So it was. I hate that. I can never. I can, <laughs> yeah. I can never relax in a bath when there's a hand coming through the tub. Okay. Well, nice. being a horror film, I've got a little quiz. Oh. So I've been prepared in okay. this pocket. Don't ready? Ready. To see how uh, brushed up on your knowledge you are. <sighs> Rock this. Oh, I can't say this. <laughs> you, You're gonna you edit it. it. Uh, okay, let's you. go, let's go. Okay, what horror hit famously featured Drew Barrymore as the first Scream. Scream. Okay. Which, uh, which of these horror movies is not based on a Stephen King novel? The Shining, Children of the Corn, Carrie, Village of the Damned. Village of the Damned, and I'm in it. He's in that. Okay. <laughs> Village of the Damned is a John Winder book that was originally called uh, The Midwish Cuckoos. Maybe we secretly tried to plug your career. Oh, well, thanks. That, so yeah, there you go. Anyway. But we've done it in a subtle way, which you just ruined. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. There you go. Anyway, what rapper had a single in the 80s inspired by the Will nightmare? Smith. Okay, I won't finish that question. Oh my, wow, Kyle. <laughs> Massive Will Smith fan I just, there. No, I just heard it for like the first time, like no joke, two weeks ago. If you got that one, because I wouldn't have. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. What are the two colours of the striped sweater that Freddie wears? Red and green. Red and green. Who He's a Christmas character. Who put that in there? Come on, do a bit more research <laughs> than that. That's shocking. Which of these actresses... It's, it's a, I'll, I'll pitch this one for you. <laughs> which, of, which of these actresses from Friends had their first starring role <laughs> in the... Ninth, no! You haven't let me finish. In the 1993 horror movie Leprechaun. Leprechaun. Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, or Lisa Kudrow? Joe's job. <laughs> Thomas. She said it publicly. Jennifer Aniston. There you go. <laughs> Leprechaun, man. It's a and classic. I think that's it. That's it. It's kind of that's a terrible. Kind saying, of a terrible quiz. More? Don't blame me. No, blame the people the behind the scenes. Street three. Full title. Oh, I do know this. <laughs> Wait. Street three. Me doing this clicking is for someone to shout it to me. Sorry. 
Dream Warriors. Yes, indeed. Very good job. Don't think I hid Patricia that that well. Arquette. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Oh, no. Guys, it's been a pleasure to have you here. That's all we have time for. Thanks awesome. for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm your nightmare.